An apt way to think about paideia would be the, the, the phrase learning in community because I think it describes paideia in two ways. One, it describes what happens on a daily basis in section where you have 18 students helping each other explore, interpret, and make sense of a common reading. The nice thing is that each small section of Paideia is taught by a different instructor who brings a different feel or a different perspective, which means our discussions as students also brought a different feel or a different perspective regarding the same book. So the breakouts and the discussions that we had in our small groups were different. So we were able to, based upon those small groups, then go back into our dorm rooms or study groups or whatever it happened to be and talk about what our uh, professors talked to, uh, talk to us about, what we talked about in those groups. So you're able to offer very differing opinions from professors, students, or whatever from various uh, discussion groups into our own study groups or onto our floor or wherever we happen to meet. And then outside of class, there's another level of, of learning in community as students from different sections get to share the different kinds of conversations that they've had with regard to the same text. We're all on the same syllabus with, a, with all of the first year students and that lends to learning in community on multiple levels. So sometimes I would leave my Paideia classroom and head back to my dorm, talk with my roommates, go to soccer practice that afternoon, talk with my teammates about the book we were reading or the test that was coming up and just they weren't in the same section that I was. We'd, we had different professors, but we were working on the same things. And so that aspect of the Paideia course reinforces the close-knit community that is Luther College. Um, so I had some students come to me after class and they said, Professor Kildegard, we were sitting eating breakfast and we got into this big argument about the book we're reading in Paideia. And the two of them were saying, well, I thought this, and she said this, and they were arguing back and forth, and they came to me and said, which one is right? And all I could think of is, look at this. My students are arguing about a Paideia book at breakfast. And I was thrilled. I remember going back uh, to my room after class one day and uh, sitting down with my roommate, and we had a 30-minute conversation uh, about women's issues and that kind of thing. And that's... That's one thing that you can't really get with any other course because it's one thing that all freshmen are taking and it's just kind of this huge community feel. The topics that we discuss in Paideia, the Enduring Questions, which is the name of that course, are issues that we discuss not just in the classroom of Paideia, but that find their way into the discussions across campus, into the debates, into the arguments, into the guest speakers who come and visit us. These are the discussions around issues that all humans face and have faced across time. That's the importance of Paideia's community.